Hello, happy people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the short story in our collection that we're looking at in the Weird Wild West. I'm taking a look at the Weird West stuff. Um, we're looking at Robert E. Waters' short story called Mungo Sneed's Last Stand, uh, which I like a lot and I'll be giving a 7 too. Uh, now Robert Waters, E. Waters rather, um, has been writing science fiction and fantasy professionally since 2003 with his first publication of Weird Tales in the Assassin's Retirement Party. Robert also has published... 30 uh, stories in various online and print magazines and anthologies, including Eric Flint's online Grantville Gazette, uh, the magazine dedicated to publishing stories set in Bay and Books' 1632 Ring of Fire alternate history series. In 2014, Robert published his first novel, The Wayward Eight, A Contract to Die For, uh, set in the Wild West Exodus gaming universe. Robert lives in Baltimore, which is actually right next door because I live in Catonsville, with his wife Beth and their son Jason and their cat Buzz. You can, or you can also visit his website at Robert uh, N. Ernest, I'm sorry, just Robert Ernest, Ernest Waters, uh, dot com if you're interested in checking out more about this author. Um, I really like this short story, but I'm also going to tell you right up I have a bias towards this short story because it's military science fiction, uh, and military science fiction is my favorite subgenre <laughs> of science fiction. I've read more than 100 novels uh, that are set in the uh, science fiction uh, universe and these uh, in things like Battletech and some other stuff uh, that are all military science fiction that I really enjoy. Uh, so it's my favorite subgenre of science fiction. So so I have bias towards it. Oh, I went that right up front. This plays into my bias. This is the first Weird West uh, military science fiction short story that I've read. Um, in this short story, about uh, 18 pages long, I read it last night and knocked out about 35, 36 minutes or so. Um, um, but it was a fun uh, I enjoyed it, uh, but the key core concept of this is that an aliens have invaded Earth and they have allied with the Indians to get back at Americans. And now they are besieging a U.S. Um, Army base in Colorado in order to take over the and, and, and grab the Colorado Territory. And so this uh, short story then is the siege of the base from the uh, point of view of the commanding officer. Uh, and, and I like it. I thought it was well done. I think the ideas concept is cool. Uh, the aliens, uh, you know, and in, in joining the Native Americans. Uh, in taking out the American in, in, in avenging all the you know atrocities that were committed against the Native Americans, uh, and so he's joined with people with like the Pawnee and some other tribes, uh, and so forth, in order to get vengeance in 1885 um, and to take uh, all of the Colorado territory. And if this outpost in, in Colorado falls, there will be nothing left to stop this this alien army and uh, Native American army from marching all the way to Denver um, and taking out Denver. So that's. This is kind of like the last stand, and so that is, and so we're following Mungo Sneed, the uh, main character, uh, who is our our who is the person who's running everything, and then that's it. Uh, and 18 pages feels like a good length for the siege. I wasn't bored because it went too long. I wasn't wanting more uh, because it wasn't long enough. So I also liked that aspect um, as well. I enjoyed this. I thought that this was definitely, definitely it's also well written, uh, and I enjoyed it. So anyway, uh, the Weird West, as a reminder, is a combined genre that combines old westerns, settings, and aspects with fantasy or horror or science fiction. And this is science fiction in this case, military science fiction. Um, and then, or sometimes two or th or, and I've actually read one story uh, that was all three. That was my favorite short story, and the only eight that I've given uh, in this collection uh, so far. Everything else has been sixes and sevens, uh, and this is another seven. But again, I'm biased because it's military science fiction, but I think it's, I think it's good. Uh, I don't think it's a lot of fun stuff that's happening here. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, this is a Kickstarter collection by the by. So it was very successful. It was a success story. I'm doing a deeper dive into the Weird West stuff, uh, which makes sense for my channel because I care about uh, doing reviews and reading short stories that are in the the uh, horror and uh, science fiction and fantasy worlds. So as an old western that combines them with them is on cue <laughs> for the sorts of things I do as a part of this channel but I really enjoy um, uh, this West, this weird west I got started a couple months ago while I was watching the 104 episode uh, series the wild wild west which combines westerns with uh, science fiction and a spy genre and uh, some has some steampunk elements in it as well 
and then I really enjoyed it. Knocked it out in a couple in about two or three weeks, um, and then I uh, started watching the Legend UPN series, uh, and then I watched uh, the Adventures of Bruce Kane Jr. And then I watched a 1935 serial that stars Gene Autry. And now I really couldn't find anything else that really kind of fit, fit my sort of you know uh, visual. Um, media obsession like like movies and television shows and movie serials um, but what I could do instead is I've just been reading I'm like books I got a book in my queue uh, I have um, short stories the short story collection I've been reading comics uh, as well and I uh, keep myself current so there are a lot of good things out there that, that I've been doing as a part of this deep dive into the uh, genre uh, which plays which plays adjacently to the things that I enjoy so I think it's a pretty cool thing take a deeper dive into uh, but there you are uh, that is mungo Sunny's last stand by waters if you enjoyed this what did you think of it as a reminder i keep my reviews spoiler free so all you got was the basic sort of concept that you might get from like you know a paragraph at the end of a, a novel or a short story collection or or a pick it up and buy it. i don't give you any spoilers uh, but if you're interested in those spoilers um, I would be more than happy to sort of talk with you further about it in the comments below. If you don't think this is a 7, if you didn't like it at all, or if you thought it was more of an A or a 9, or if you thought it was less of a 6 or a 5, I would be more than happy to sort of talk with you about that. Also in the comments below, whatever your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There'll be a lot more of these to follow up. And then finally, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and investing it in watching me. We have so many things that are happening in our lives, and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.